imagine if you have a time machine, who would you like to talk to? For me, as you can see here, I love dinosaurs. Of course, I would love to talk to dinosaurs. But um, I think the power of time machine is not about going to the past. It's also about going into the future. Talking about going to the future, one of the things that I think is really exciting is not you know, just any future. It's a future of you, future of me, and future of us. During the pandemic, a lot of people contemplate and think a lot about uh, what is possible. Um, and you know, if you had a time machine, you might ask, what is going to happen after the pandemic? Or you know, what's going to happen to me after that? And you might wonder, how is all of these connected to AI? And the answer is, we are working on technology that allow us to simulate a conversation with ourselves. And this is based on research that we are doing on AI-generated characters. These characters that you see here are not real. They are all generated with machine learnings that have a, a facial expression, ability to speak, and have human-like conversation, and engage in a very exciting way. And the goal is not to replace human. We're using these AI-generated characters to augment ourselves, to be our collaborator, to bring out the best in ourselves, to allow us to be more creative, to learn better, and even think in the long term. And long-term thinking is very important. Psychologists have identified the term future self-continuity, a degree in which you can measure how someone can imagine themselves maybe 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years in the future. And this uh, future self-continuity is really important because the more that you can think about the future, the better you have in terms of you know, financial decision-making, academic performance, mental health, and so on. So here, we are using AI to generate and simulate that conversation with the future self, allowing a person to better imagine what would the future would look like, especially if you are like you know high school student or you know college student. Right now, there's a really exciting time, but you may not think in long term what's going to happen to your future. So here, we develop an AI system that asks people 10 questions and then use these questions to generate and simulate a version of you when you're 60 years old. I'm a young kid, so I'm really excited about uh, what's going to happen to me 60 years old, but my advisor, who's already 60, she wasn't that excited about it. <laughs> um, uh, but here, what, what we are playing with here is when people answer this question into our interface, um, the AI would then generate a synthetic memory, a memory of that person when they're 60 years old. You know, imagine if you're a kid, uh, you know, 18 or 15, and you are thinking, what would happen if I'm an astronaut? You type in your profile, like you love dinosaurs, you want to be an astronaut, and so on. And then the AI would generate that memory of what you are when you are like a retired astronaut, so that the AI can have this really personalized and intimate conversation with you. This is an example uh, of the conversation. The AI will first introduce himself, like, you know, I'm a future pad, I'm an astronaut, and still love dinosaur. I'm here to give you advice what happened when you are um, at that age. You need to think about, you know, tax and all this complex thing, um, yeah. And, and that's what the AI does. And you know, to make the conversation realistic, we also age the person. So when you have a conversation with the future self, you see an older version of you that make the conversation more realistic. This is not just about fun project, about going in you know, with time machine. These have real impact on people's lives. We have done psychological study with over um, 188 participants, and we found that this type of intervention can reduce uh, anxiety, make people less anxious, and also be more motivated to live their life. We also found that the more that people you know, be, be, uh, believe in this AI-generated future self, the higher uh, level of optimism and agency to act toward that goal they would have. So this is really exciting. It could be an intervention that really make people think long term. People also found solace in the AI. They're really excited. They feel connected with the AI and so on. We also go one step further. How about generating not just one future, but multiple futures? You can see these are multiple versions of me. Um, my parents would say one pad is enough, um, but this is multiple <laughs> version of pad. You know, the younger, the older, the more masculine, the more feminine, different version of pad. And we call this Makinoya machine of multiple me, as the name suggests, multiple version of you. And we do this using social media data, not just 10 questions, but more holistic data about the person that allow us to capture how the person change over time, how your attitude toward different topics change over time. This is really exciting because now we can ask questions like, what is the future of technology? And you can see different versions of me react in different way. What the future of school? No version of me love school. Or how about uh, research, right? So on. In the future, you, maybe you can carry this with you, have tree head walking around, you know, like tree-headed dragon, that's actually where the inspiration comes from. And, and, you know, help you make better decisions by being able to converge with multiple versions of you. So in conclusion, 
these examples are the types of AI that are not aiming at replacing human. Rather, they're augmenting our capability to gain more perspective, to be inspired, to think in long term. I think that's the goal of AI that we should focus on, especially you have more advancement in AGI. We should not think about how AGI is going to replace workforce, but how can we augment them so they can become superhuman. And with that, I will end with a quote from Manfred Klein, Nathan Klein. These gentlemen introduced the term cyborg to the world. And unlike what you might have heard in science fiction, that cyborg is about losing humanity to become a robot, they propose that the goal of cyborg is to use technology to augment us, to free human, to explore, to create, to think, and to feel, and to be more human than ever. Now, with the power of AI time machine, I ask you, who would you like to talk to? With that, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.